What is going on? I'm Zadmot. We're going to start this season how to guide for success on the dev build. Uh, primarily because I didn't give you guys a sneak peek. I am so sorry. This weekend has been insane. A couple warnings to show you. First of all, Number one, you can see we don't have mines unlocked, but for whatever reason, we do have mines sitting here. So if you pick those mines up, they just disappear into the ether. So don't pick those up and you get five free mines. That is step number one. Step number two is should be fairly obvious. But uh, if you scroll over here on the three engine room level, you'll see a ramp that is connected to absolutely, absolutely nothing. This was intentional. They wanted to give a little bit of an advantage to people using rocket choppers for whatever reason. I kind of like it. I kind of hate it. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. But uh, if we jump into a battle here, let's jump into a battle, show some amazing, amazing strats. If... You drop all of your troops on the left-hand side and they don't have wings, they don't have lift, they're not choppas. They're going to walk to those flags and then they're going to be like, WTF, bruh. Like, what do we even do? And you're going to waste all your troops. If we end that battle, all of those troops are going to, they will come back. Like, if we end here right now, we haven't, they haven't died. But um, the fact is that they're just going to stand there and they're going to be kind of pissed off because your troops aren't going to go anywhere towards where you want them to go. Um, they do come back to the boats though, as you can see there. So at least there's that. They're not dying somehow, some way, but uh, not awesome. Two little caveats that I wanted you guys to be aware of. Anyways, back to the real game. Checking our creator boost is active code ZMOT in there. Doesn't matter if it's uppercase, lowercase, mixed case, whatever the heck you want. Throw it in there. Go support those turtles if that's your thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the cards above. Anyways, we are going to ignore the mega turtle. We're not going to talk about that because we're going to jump into warships. I managed to get to stage 100, had a bunch of attacks left, couldn't be bothered to use them all. Uh, kind of how it goes for the mega crab. I just drop troops. I, I don't know. I'm bored with the mega turtle. Quick note as well here, if you tap very carefully or fairly carefully, you can pick up two chests at a time, saves you, makes you 50% more efficient or 100, I don't know. The trick is you have to tap once, then get the finger down. You can't throw both down at the same time. They removed that feature like six years ago. We had a player in our task force named Hams, also known as Handsome, um, was from Thailand and had like multi-touch shocks, like absolutely insane. That kind of ruined his motivation to play the game, unfortunately. Anyways, moving forward, this tech tree, we're going to get our gunboat up to tick four. We're going to get our landing crafts up to max. Now, again, we're going to get our sniper towers up to tick four. That gets us all the sniper towers. We're going to get our cannons up to max. Why you're maxing cannons, you might be asking, because people are going to be using rocket choppers. Spoiler alert, we will not be using rocket choppers. We will not be using flares. We will not be using mortars even. Going the short, short, short path, getting all of the troop health, getting that med kit. Now, we will be maxing that med kit later on, but I don't know what I've got for tokens quite yet, so we'll be holding off on that. Jumping in the three engine room level as per usual, partially because we've got Kavan. Kavan's going to be giving us extra troops. Now, I like to get Kavan to tick four. Tick five doesn't give you any extra oomph as far as that uh, second wind goes, but it does make his... Um, damage reduction better. So we're going to get flamethrowers. We're going to max those puppies out because other people will be using uh, riflemen as well. We're going to pick an extra flamethrower. We're going to get into that smoke. Don't care about smoke. Machine guns maxing yet again. Machine guns are our primary jam here. Machine guns are going to be better than flamethrowers in the early season because people are going to be using those rocket choppers. Um, and now that that's done, we can go back and make sure... Oh, almost forgot to max our riflemen. That would have been very, very, very bad. So riflemen are going to be our primary and only troop. Yes, we've got Zookas in behind. Don't care about them. 
And if you're wondering if this feels a bit insane to you, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. Don't you worry. If you notice over here, you'll see that Seekers are before shock launchers. Every single season when that happens, need to be on the lookout for the naked, naked, early offensive path. You want to take the skinniest path possible. With one exception, we will be going back and getting those boom cannons. So we're going to leave a little bit of tokens for those boom cannons. Probably could max our med kits right now, but we're going to hold out just because I'm not super, super duper sure as far as what we're doing. Next up, we're going to move all of these cannons over to this side. We want to definitely, definitely protect that left hand side because those choppas will come in and flank you if you build a base with all of your engine rooms over here and all of your defenses over here, you're gonna have a very, very, very bad time. Don't copy my base, I say this every season, but generally speaking, my base in the early season is awful. My number one goal here is to get all my chests, get that timer going. I am incredibly, incredibly thankful for the fact that they changed it to be a six, a five, four out of six instead of, or to made it out of six instead of out of four. Otherwise I would have lost the chest by now, as you can see there. Um, quick note, I said don't pick these mines up. You can move them, just don't pick them up is the only thing you need to be worried about. I, I am gonna move this over here. If you click that shovel icon by accident, you're gonna have a bad time. So I'm gonna throw all of my machine guns over into this neighborhood, trying to slow people down that are gonna go wide left and then we're gonna do things like this. Again, just trying to get some form of screwery, trying to slow people down. Uh, this base is not gonna be perfect. It's not even gonna be good, but it will slow down people who have rifles. The fact is I've got machine guns and many people below me will not have machine guns. Then I'm gonna get boom cannons, which is gonna help me even more so bit by stinking little bit, we're gonna claw our way forwards. I'm only gonna do a couple battles today. Like I, I don't know if I told you guys, it's my daughter's birthday today. She also has a track meet, so I need to get the heck out of Dodge. We are gonna send, uh, let's send four boats up the front here, and then we're gonna send Mr. Kevy Kavon in behind them. You could use med kits, but look how many mines are over there. So we're gonna hold off, like hold way, way, way off on using Kevy Kavon's second wind until a bunch of those mines get cleared. And then as soon as that next flamethrower goes down, we're gonna drop all of our dudes over on this left-hand side, trying to get them up and amongst and on the flamethrowers. You see this right here? That was very much what I was worried about. As soon as those mines go down though, Kavon doing all of the good things. Now this person is likely going to beat us very early season. This person has both mortars and flamethrowers. And every time you encounter one of those, you're gonna start questioning your choices. You're gonna be like, darn, maybe I should have gone and gotten myself some flame, some mortars, gotten myself some mines. Do that later. Let's get into four engine rooms first. Four engine rooms is going to do good, good things for us. You just got to trust the process. It will get us there. This, this tech tree has been, and look at that, three minutes, two seconds. Let's see what Dr. Otzi did. Not Dr. Oz, but Dr. Otzi. Again, someone else coming in with, oh, they actually got Zookas. I'm not spending tokens on Zookas yet and the beautiful thing about this tech tree is if later on once you get boom cannons and you get them to tick three or tick four you can always go back and get those zookas so trust the process underspending is in many seasons better especially this season underspend underspend under spend one two three one two three we're gonna send you out there we're gonna send kavon over to the left kavon can always drop some extra dudes and look at those mines are not doing a heck of a lot for us but you know what it's doing something leave those mines there don't pick them up you will regret it we're spending all of our second wins early because it's going to get us some extra troops going to that left hand side that is my primary objective here getting some 
Rifleman over to that left hand side. Come on, let's go. Super quick time. Three minutes, 26 seconds. I'm pretty happy with that. They, Cliche is going even more naked than we are. They are using rocket choppers coming in hot. And like you saw there, they've even got shocks. So they have done a completely, completely different check choices than us and we managed to take them down. So shocks are this bottom path down here. I don't think we need shocks quite yet. And we can always go back after we get the boom cannon to get those shocks. So again, sticking with the process, just gonna pick up this next chest and then I'm gonna let you guys fly on your own or not fly. I guess we're not gonna fly. Rocket choppers um, are a great fun meta, but uh, it's not for me this season. It, hopefully it's not for you either. Do let me know in the comment. And by the way, there are many, many ways to play warships. This is just me giving you the best way that I see forward. If that changes, I will let you know. Do consider liking and sharing and subscribing and all of the rest of the things as these left-hand dudes might have dropped them a little bit early. We're gonna be a little bit short on troops going towards that left-hand side. Getting that split without flares is gonna be the key to many, many wins this season. So do your best, get those troops going around to that left-hand side. Probably dropped a little bit early, but it actually worked out pretty okay. Three minutes, 19 seconds, all of the rifles. And I'm fairly certain right now that I forgot to go back and max my rifleman on my other account. Generally speaking, what I do is I get one chest on my other account. I talk to a bunch of players who got up at 4 a.m. to play the season, make sure that the paths that I had planned out make sense, update things a little bit. So when I'm saying Zedmot's path to success, Zedmot's guide to success, it's actually the community guide to success. There are many, many people who give feedback to this. Uh, the Orions, the Andros, the Lukes, the uh, Policinos. The, like, the, I try to talk to as many people as I can before giving you guys this guide. You don't care about just my brain. My brain is mush from the weekend, so getting as many people's inputs as possible, super, super clutch. And look at that. Speaking of super, super clutch, 30 unlock tokens. 30 needed for the boom cannon. That is going to be huge, huge success. You only need to get your boom cannons to tick three. That is the requirement. If you have something else you want to spend on, by all means, go do it. For example, for us, we're going to go back and max those med kits. And that way we get all of the boom cannons. For many defenses, like sniper towers, like flamethrowers like machine guns, you need to get them to tick four to get the max build count. Boom cannons are a little bit different, need to get them to tick three. So you'll see here, we've got our med kits maxed. Kavan is not maxed. Where do we go next is that extra engine room. I probably should have done that before I went and got those boom cannons, but I was a little bit scared, a little bit nervous about those ridiculous, ridiculous, annoying, uh, what are those things called? rocket choppers coming in and wrecking my party. So I, I, I can't tell you, someone comment down below, let me know, should we go get four engine rooms first or go get the boom cannons first? Really doesn't matter probably because we're gonna get both of them by the time we get all our chests anyways. So potato, potato, I shall talk to you soon, a super quick video. Like I said, gotta run to that track meet. Daughter just turned 10, she's running the 800 meter. Last year she won it by over 150 meters. Proud dad moment, but she doesn't have her growth spurt yet and some of those girls' legs are taller than her. So that is gonna be it for me. I'm Zedmot, thank you for coming in. Let me know what you're doing in Warships, how you did on the Mega Turtle, and what you think about this whole charity thing that's going on there. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Peace.